front, please. While uh, the United States has met with extraordinary military success in remarkably little time, the responsibility of rebuilding this country, ensuring that we win not only the war but win the peace, will be much more difficult. This country is devastated to an extraordinary degree. And the return of terrorism to Afghanistan will only be assured if some basic quality of life is restored and that this nation finds security in its most remote parts so that it no longer can be fertile ground for Al Qaeda, the Taliban, or any other extremist element. Mr. Karzai, the second question, there's a group of people across the street whose homes were about to not even ever see The Chairman Karzai outlined... This is an extraordinary set of circumstances where the Afghan government is asking the United, the international community to remain and assume responsibilities for keeping the peace. After, a, after centuries of Afghans attempting to expel foreigners, we have the extraordinary circumstance where the Afghan government is asking the international community to remain, recognizing it's going to take even years to build a national Afghan army, that without some foreign presence, and particularly an American involvement, the peace isn't going to be kept and everything we fought for could be lost. It would be a tragedy if we did not accept this invitation. I don't think people of Afghanistan doubt their own ability to set... Senator Torricelli... For the United States to leave Afghanistan after winning this war without securing the peace will break the heart of every person in this country. That the, the people in Afghanistan still feel vulnerable. Uh, they know the Taliban has lost a battle, but there's still fear of their return. And if the international community abandons this country, the Taliban in some form will return. Stars and Stripes. I'm interested in knowing what Mr. Karzai, if you learn anything. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have some Marines escort you out.